chubby bears? It's Miss Jessica. Oh, and Miss Jessica and Miss Dawn had so much fun with you last week. Thank you so much for coming to our Zoom call. It was so fun. And you guys, I am looking for my friend Cubby Bear. I have Katie Collie and Lovey Lamb. And they said they just saw Cubby. Can you guys help me call him out? Let's see if we can call him. We're gonna say one, two, three, Cubby. Okay, on three. One, two, three, Cubby. Uh-oh, Cubby Bears. I don't think he could hear you. Can we do it louder? One, two, three, Cubby. Hi, Cubbies. I'm feeling very sad today. <laughs> Cubby seems sad. Why are you so sad, Cubby Bear? I'm sad because Timothy's marshmallow got burnt at the fire. Oh no, how did that happen, Cubby Bear? Well, <laughs> Timothy and I were roasting marshmallows over this campfire right here. And that's one of the fun things we like to do on the farm. Well, Cubby, have you ever toasted marshmallows over a fire before? Have any of you guys toasted marshmallows over a fire before, Cubby Bears? I had my own marshmallow on a stick like this, and Timothy had his own marshmallow on a stick, and we couldn't wait to eat them. Well, Cubby, how did Timothy's marshmallow get all burnt then? Timothy moved his marshmallow too far into the fire, and a giant flame covered his marshmallow, and it caught fire. Timothy's dad pulled the stick out of the fire and waved it in the air so the fire would go out, but it was too late. Timothy's marshmallow was black and crisp, and he didn't want to eat it anymore. Oh, that's too bad, Cubby Bear. Could he get another marshmallow? Mm, no, all the marshmallow bags were empty. Lots of kids were there roasting marshmallows with their families, and they had already taken all the marshmallows. Well, there was still one marshmallow left. <gasps> Lovey, how did you get a marshmallow? A kid at the petting zoo tried to feed me a marshmallow, but lambs don't like marshmallows, so I gave it to Timothy. Wow, Lovey, that's a great idea. That'll make Timothy so happy. Let's bring the marshmallow to Timothy right now. Oh, wow, Cubby and Lovey, be very careful not to get too close to the fire. Cubby Bears, have you guys ever done a bonfire with your family? Have you ever roasted a marshmallow? What's one important thing we do around the fire? We don't touch it, right? We have to do fire safety because you could get hurt with the fire, right? Okay, bye, Cubby and Lovey. Bye, Katie Collie. Cubby Bears, wow. We were talking about roasting marshmallows in the fire, and that is a really cool thing to do. And, ooh, s'mores taste so yummy. But we do have to practice fire safety. But the fire reminds me of a story that we're going to talk about in our Bible today. And you guys remember what this book is called? I just said it. Can, does anyone remember? The... Did I hear it? A little louder, please. The Bible, that's right. And do you guys remember what's special about the Bible? This is God's book. And in it, these stories are true. And they're for me and for you to learn about who God is and how we can follow him. So our story today in the Bible has a little bit of fire in it, and that can be a little bit scary, but I have brought my special sparkly treasure bag that has some clues about the story today that might be helpful as we're getting started. Can anyone guess what might be in my special treasury sparkly bag? No guesses? All right, well, let's see what our clues are about our story, okay? We've got their Lego clues, okay? So they might be a little small. We've got fire. Ooh, Lego fire. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. We've got three guys. Oh, okay, okay. And we've got a golden idol. A golden statue. 
Okay, cubby bears. Well, let's let wait and hear what our Bible story might be, and we'll see how those three things that we found in our treasure bag, our fire, our three guys, and our golden idol might go together in God's word. Thank you. Okay, cubby bears. It's time for our Bible lesson today. So in our Bible lesson today, we're seeing Jessica's Bible. We are going to talk about many different fires. And you guys remember, we talked about fire last week in our Bible story. Do you guys remember when we talked about fire? Ooh, here's a picture from our Bible story last week. Do you guys remember how this fire started from our Bible story last week? Oh, you guys, you're right. The Israelites... um saw this amazing fire that got sent from God and they knew that God was the one true God. Cubbies, do you think that the Israelites started worshiping only the one true God after God sent this amazing fire? You guys, sadly, that is not what happened. Sadly, that is not what happened, cubby bears. So after God sent that fire, the Israelites did not only worship the one true God, they kept worshiping idols, which are other gods. And God sent many more prophets like Elijah to warn them. And the prophets said, if you don't stop worshiping these other gods, God's, God's going to make you leave the special land that he gave you. And the temple will be burnt down. But you guys know what? The Israelites did not listen to the prophets and they kept on worshiping idols. How sad is that? Let me go to our next picture for you. You guys, it was so sad. And finally, the prophet's words became true. God loved the Israelites so much, but he had to punish them because they had disobeyed him. And so God sent an army from Babylon to take the Israelites out of the special land that he'd given them. The army took them far away to the land of Babylon. It was a very sad time. And you guys know what happened? The Babylonian army took the shiny gold things out of God's beautiful temple and they set the temple on fire. And it was so very sad. The temple burnt to the ground and all of these sad things had happened because the Israelites disobeyed God and worshiped idols. And it was a very sad time. You guys, there were a few Israelites that obeyed God and did not worship the idols. So here's a picture of some people who did not disobey God. They were not worshiping idols. And so in this story in our Bible, we're going to talk about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And you guys, I know those are kind of fun names to say. So let's say them together. Shadrach. One more time. Shadrach. Meshach. Meshach and Abednego, Abednego. And so these young men were chosen to study at school so that they would be ready to work for the King Nebuchadnezzar. Ooh, we have a lot of fun names in the story. Can you guys say Nebuchadnezzar? Nebuchadnezzar. And he was the king of Babylon. And so these guys were going to school. So they were learning, which was very important. And the king gave them some important jobs to do. So one day, King Nebuchadnezzar got this bright idea to build this huge, ginormous, golden statue. And he said, hey, important men, come here and come and see this beautiful statue that I've made. And he said, when anyone hears music, I want them to fall down and worship this golden statue. And if you don't, you'll be thrown into a fiery furnace. So Nebuchadnezzar was making an idol, you guys, and wanted people to worship this idol. And he wasn't being very kind. He said, if you don't worship this idol, I'm going to throw you into a fiery furnace, which is a mean, mean thing to do. And that would make people die that was not very nice and the music began to play and all the men dropped to the ground and they started worshiping this idol except Shadrach Meshach and Abednego they didn't burn down do you see or they didn't kneel down to worship see they kept standing because they said I only worship the one true God so King Nebuchadnezzar was pretty upset about this and he said you guys if you don't worship this statue, I'm going to throw you into the fiery furnace. And he was madder than madder. And you know what? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they did not worship this idol. They worshiped God and God alone because God is the one true God. 
And the King Nebuchadnezzar got even more mad and he made the furnace extra, extra hot. And he tied them up and he throwed them in and he was trying to kill them, you guys. But guess what? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went into the furnace because he threw them in there. And when the king looked in the furnace, you guys, he saw four people, not three. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four. So remember, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, those were only three. Let's go back. Let's go back and look. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are here. Ready? One, two, three. Let's look in the furnace again. Let's see who's there. One, two, three, four. So all of a sudden, the king saw four men were walking around in the fire. And you guys, they didn't look dead or hurt at all. Cubbies, who do you think was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire? Well, you guys, we can't be 100% sure, but we think it was either Jesus or an angel. The Bible doesn't really tell us, but we know that God was with them. He either sent an angel or he himself was with them. And the king saw them walking around in there and he said, come out, you guys. And these three men came out of the fiery furnace and everyone saw that the fire had not even touched them. They weren't hurt. They weren't dead. And do you want to know something funny? They didn't even smell like smoke. When you guys have been to a bonfire and you've just been standing near the fire, do you guys smell like smoke? Yes, we do. And they didn't even smell like smoke after being in the fire. The king was so glad that Shadrach and his friends had trusted in God and had said no other God can save them like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's God did. And Cubbies, this they trusted in the one true God. And this word trust reminds me of a Bible verse, Psalm 31, 14, that says, but I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God, but I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God, Psalm 31, 14. Let's say it one more time. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God, Psalm 31, 4, 31, 14. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted in God, and they knew that God was the one true God, and they would not worship any other gods but him. They knew that God also loved them and that he would be with them even if they had to go into a place or even if they thought someone was going to hurt them. Cubbies, we can trust in God too. We can trust and obey God even if bad things happen, and we know God loves us and is always with us no matter what. Hi, Cubby Bears. Wow, that Bible story was amazing. And it shows us how strong and powerful God is and how he loves and protects us. And when we know that he's the one true God and worship him, he loves us and protects us just like he protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And you know what, you guys? We know that sometimes it's hard to understand God's love, but God's love is amazing. He sent his son Jesus to die for our sins so that we can live forever with him. And his love is so wonderful. And that's part of why we worship him. He's the one true God, but his love is so amazing and so wonderful. So I'm going to teach you a new song today. You might already know it or you might not know it yet. So let's learn it together. It talks about God's love. So it says, God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Okay, so that's how it starts. And then we'll sing it together. Are you ready? One, two, three. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high, we can't get over it. So deep, we can't get under it. So wide, we can't get around it. Oh, wonderful love. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful oh wonderful love it's so high we can't get over it so deep we can't get under it so wide we can't go around it oh wonderful love cubbies can we sing it one more time okay 
God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. It's so high. We can't get over it so deep. We can't go under it so wide. We can't go around it. Oh, wonderful love. Oh, cubby bears, God's love is so wonderful. And that's part of why we worship him. And that's how we know he's the one true God. He's such a wonderful God who loves us so much. Cubby bears, just a reminder, I cannot wait to see you in person on Saturday at 10 a.m. under the white tent at church. See you so soon.